GW, uh, hell of a start to the season. They defeated Stonehill in convincing fashion, 89 to 44. Um, contrary to what we just talked about, the story in this game was the Colonials defense and their new depth. Although they're young, they're, they're a lot deeper than they were last year where uh, James Bishop, Brandon Adams, and Ricky Lindo, uh, and Dean, they, they had to work miracles out there because if they didn't score, it, it was tough. And defend, it was tough. Uh, GW held Stonehill. Listen to what I'm about to say. They held Stonehill to 7 of 40 from the field and 3 of 20 from three-point range. I repeat, 7 of 40 from the field and 3 of 20 from deep in the first half. The Colonials ended the game having locked up Stonehill uh, to 15 of 70 from the field and 5 of 33 from three-point range. Uh, offensively, uh, George Washington had their way. At the leading 37 20 at the half, uh, the Colonials led by Max Edwards and uh, red shirt freshman Gary Johnson, who you will be hearing me mention a lot throughout the season. Uh, he's a transfer from Princeton, I believe. Uh, he's he's not he's a red shirt freshman because uh, the 21 22 season he was originally at Princeton, uh, but they found a cancerous tumor in his hip, so he went on. He's he's gone through it. Uh, he's 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 uh, had about seven operations to try to get that under control. So essentially this is his first college season. And, uh, you know, he had a hell of a debut, man. I know he, he look at life totally different from what he's been going through. He, he's been through hell. So, um, you know, I'm happy to see him back on the floor, local product as well. So I'm happy to see him back on the floor doing what he does, talented kid. Uh, those two, they about those two in the second half, they blew the game open. I was going Stonehill 52-24 in the second half. Uh, John, Gary Johnson, he finished with the game high 21 points at 8 to 10 shooting. And the game high nine rebounds, tied for a game high nine rebounds. And Max Edwards added 19 points and several rebounds and 7 11 shooting, 5 8 from deep, including three straight threes in the second half that pretty much ended the game. Any hopes of Stonehill trying to make a run and make it a game? James Bishop, the reigning 8 10 scoring champion, finished with five points in the game high five assists. That's what I mean about the depth. That's the difference this year. Uh, GW has a lot more firepower offensively. So Bishop won't have to work miracles. Not nearly as often. I know he's going to probably have his games in his moments, but he won't need to work miracles just to keep GW competitive. Uh, he has a lot of help on that end, man. They're just young. So as they can get experience and continue to to learn uh, by the end of the season, they or at least conference play, uh, GW, they, they can be a force. Um, Stonehill was led by Louis Simona, who posted nine points and four rebounds. And uh, preseason all-conference for Max Zagorowski added eight points and nine rebounds. Uh, GW will next take on William & Murray Saturday at 1 p.m.